Um, I always find that a really difficult question to answer because I don't think it's something that you suddenly make a decision that medicine is what you want to do. I really enjoy science and I enjoy talking to people and seeing people as well um, and finding out about their lives, which is a lot of what medicine is about. You get to learn a lot about each individual person. Um, and I thought the medicine was a good way to get to speak to people but incorporate the academic side of science that I really enjoyed as well. Um, apart from wanting to be a doctor from about the age of six, um, once I got to the age of about 15 I realised I wanted to study a science-based subject so I looked at various other courses available and realised that the combination of the study of science um, and the human body along with interacting with people was a combination of all my favourite things and so I decided I'd pursue it from then. Um, well I've got a background um, in, with an undergraduate degree in psychology um, and then I went on to do a master's in medical anthropology which sort of opened my eyes to sort of the different sort of healthcare systems around the world and how other people sort of perceive medicine and issues like health and, and death and dying and, and the processes of those and it was that really that got me um, interested in, in going into medicine. In the first couple of years you're learning a lot of sciences and so on. It's not like that at every school but in, in most schools there's, there's what's called a preclinical stage when you learn about the basic sciences. So you might have a mixture of lectures and group work looking at different, different uh, conditions, different uh, systems in the body. So for example, you might have uh, a day when you go in and you're presented with a problem, say a patient with chest pain, and you have to work as a group to think of all the different causes of chest pain for the second third, fourth years in my course, we were really in the hospital most of the time, so you'd really be working on the ward as, as a member of the team. Really interesting stuff. Well, the typical day at medical school is a little bit different for me because I've got a young son. Um, so my day starts quite early. I have to get him off to childcare. Um, and then I normally have to be on the ward for about 8.30, 9 o'clock for sort of ward rounds, uh, morning sort of um, uh, multidisciplinary team meetings, things like that. It is very demanding. It's a long day. We don't finish sort of till 5 o'clock in the evening. And throughout the day, there's a mixture of sort of um, ward-based work and then lectures and seminars throughout the day. Um, but you're pretty tired at the end of the day. And then it's at that point point where I go off to, to collect my son from childcare and, and get ready for the next day at university. Well, I've just finished my medical degree and when I look back at since I started the development that I've made is amazing. You don't feel it happening but each year you learn new things and you change and the way that you approach people changes as well um, and I think now I'm ready to go into a hospital although it's slightly daunting and treat patients under the supervision of other doctors obviously but this has come about because we have an apprenticeship style course where you go into the hospital every day you meet patients every day and each day you learn something new about how you talk to people and learn something new about the clinical situation that you're in and about medicine itself. Well the course itself is obviously very challenging and very demanding and that you know in order to get by in that you need to have very good sort of time management skills you have to learn to be professional and work as part of a team and these are sort of qualities that you pick up as you, you go along the course um, but for me it's also really important to get involved with the BMA and sort of the Royal Colleges and the Royal Society of Medicine and that enables you to really develop into this sort of holistic person that will go on to be a junior doctor in the future.